What is Building Information Modeling, also known as BIM? Some people have a misconception that BIM is a piece of software. However, BIM is actually a process. This CITB describes BIM as a process that encourages collaborative working between all disciplines involved in design, construction, maintenance, and use of buildings. If you've spent any amount of time studying or working in construction, you've probably heard about BIM. When you think of BIM, the first thing that pops in your mind is probably 3D models of buildings. Although this can form an integral part of the BIM process, BIM has much more to offer. The origins of BIM can be traced back to the development of CAD systems in the 1960s and 1970s. These early systems allowed architects and engineers to create two-dimensional digital representations of buildings. In the 1980s, CAD technology advanced to include three-dimensional modeling capabilities. This enabled architects and engineers to create more detailed and realistic representations of buildings. The term building information modeling began to gain prominence in the 90s. The concept of BIM goes beyond 3D modeling and incorporates information about the building's components, materials, and properties. It was noticed that in construction, the use of independent technology for each project stakeholder meant there was often a communication disconnect. Something needed to change, something which could bring these new technologies together. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, the construction industry gradually adopted BIM technology. This adoption was driven by the potential benefits of improved collaboration, reduced errors and better project management. In 2011, the UK government announced a mandate for Level 2 BIM adoption in all publicly funded central government construction projects by 2016, along with the establishment of the BIM Task Group and the publication of related standards and guidelines. Now the history lesson is over, let's delve deeper into the features of BIM. BIM is all about data. BIM incorporates information such as materials, dimensions, costs, schedules, and even the energy efficiency of a building. This information is used from design and construction to operation and maintenance and is accessed with varying permission levels by all project stakeholders. So how does BIM work? BIM is a collaborative process that involves various stakeholders in the construction industry. Architects, engineers, contractors, and even facility managers all contribute to the BIM model they can access and update the model throughout the project's life cycle. This collaboration leads to better decision making, reduced errors and improved project efficiency. It's like having a digital twin of the building that evolves with the project. Some of the benefits include improved visualization, providing clear and detailed 3D representation of the project, enhanced collaboration, fostering better communication among all parties involved, Error reduction with accurate data and real-time updates. BIM helps identify and rectify issues before they become costly problems on the construction site. Cost and time savings by optimizing design and construction processes. And sustainability by analyzing the environmental impact of design decisions. It should be noted, BIM integration is an ongoing process. You might have remembered earlier in this video, I mentioned the UK government mandating the use of Level 2 BIM. What is Level 2 BIM? CITB states that BIM can be measured in levels of maturity. Level 0, unmanaged CAD. Level 1, a mix of 2D or 3D technology with a collaboration tool providing a common data environment. Level 2, collaborative BIM, in which 3D model information is shared within a common data environment and level 3, which is still being defined, although it is expected to have more advanced single point of collaboration requirements and link to further advances such as smart cities. Matrone, a commercial hub for your business.